How's it going, everybody? So, um, just want to say real quick before I get started with the shave, um, this weekend I'm not going to be doing any videos, so that's going to be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm going to be doing some shaves for West Coast Shaving then. So, um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little heads up before I get started. Oh, let me close up on that. Lighting should be a little bit better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing shaves for West Coast Shaving this weekend. Um, instead of the usual shave, so uh, in case you don't catch the video tomorrow, just wanted to give you a heads up for that. So, um, stuff for today, Lowborn, 26mm Fanchurian, Ralph Aust, and soap that I haven't used in a little bit of time. Uh, Phoenix Tires and Accoutrement slash Crown King Atomic Age Bay Rum. So, uh... <laughs> A little bit of a, you know, brand that um, people either tend to love or hate. <laughs> um, yeah, so just get going with it. So, no bloom on the soap. Stuff is pretty easy to load. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of understand why people have a um, stigmatism towards PAA, you know. Um, History is a little shady, but um, you know, I was uh, reading through Rudd's, because uh, Rudd's just did a review on PAA, and um, a lot of people in the community generally have, you know, good things to say about Douglas now. Um, you know, if you're a soap maker, your competition, um, that might be a little bit of a different story. I understand that. But, um, yeah, a lot of the guys in the community generally like Douglas. And um, me personally, I've actually, I haven't had a lot of interaction with the man. But when I did, he was very, you know, pleasant to speak with. So, um... I enjoy his products, and I don't really have any reason to dislike him, so I figure I'll, I'll use it. Um, will I buy more PAA in the future? I don't know. If something I see really appeals, maybe, but... I'll at least use what I have, because I actually do really enjoy this soap. And as far as vegan bases go, you've got to give it to them. This is a, this is a very nice base. The Crown King formula is really nice. Don't want to find out how it tastes, though. So, yeah, like I was saying, I have no reason to dislike Douglas or his soap. So, why not just enjoy what I've got? I really overloaded this. I think I'm due for it back in the next shave anyway though, so I guess I'll have to call in a net. Off camera. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Lather looks real nice.
far as vegans go, this is actually probably one of the um, the denser lathers that I get. And I'm gonna open the door because it is hot. So. But yeah. I mean, if, you know, some people don't like the fact that I use PA, then so be it. Can't please everyone. So, alright, get going. King is really great so it's been so long since I've used it um, kind of forgot how good it is stuff. screen the dog and the cat
Yeah. A lot of residual slickness left over right there. Cat's trying to mess with the toilet. <laughs> Um, I enjoy it, but um, you know, it's kind of up to you if you want to buy some or not. Mm. Almost lost a bit of leather right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, my mother is talking about me. So I've got a ton of ladder left over. Um, and uh, I didn't load for very long, so soap is pretty easy to load. Sorry, a little bit quiet. <laughs> Just uh, join the shade. I haven't really done much. Um, I don't know if you've seen on the news, but we have a tropical storm rolling through. So work's been a little bit dead for me, so I don't have much to talk about.
And that is the shade. Let's see if I can wrap this up pretty quick so that I don't have to make a separate video. Or not separate video, but clip two parts together. It's gonna dry off. I'll put the post shave on after in uh after I stop. <laughs> so it's just gonna be the uh magic splash. But yeah, shave for today. I'm gonna keep the lather in the brush because I'm gonna use it. Uh low born supply, 26 millimeter Venturian Ralph Oust. Oh shoot, where'd I put the cut? There it is. Crown King PAA, Atomic Age Bay Rum. Really enjoy it. Only bay rum I have. <laughs> And then, like I said, um, matching splash will be put on after. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, for those of you who entered, I will do the, um, the, the giveaway for the J&J &J Farms bomb. I can, I'll do that off camera. Um, so the entries are Abe Perlman, number one, Sean Mason, number two, Mike Buin, number three, Doug Bear, number four, and Marcos Mendez, number five. So, uh... Yeah, so that's who will be in the drawing. Um, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll announce the winner at the end of tomorrow's video. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow for Fat Friday.